All right, so my friends, welcome five new brews for MTG Alchemy, a new set and format on Arena. I uh, wrote an article about it. You can read all about it if you want because uh, it's a pretty crazy, uh, pretty crazy new thing here with goods and bads, goods and bads, but new set. Uh, articles on CoolStuffInc.com. Check that out. And uh, we're brewing up five new brews. This is brew number two, Big Red. Can you read this card, please? Town Razor Tyrant. This card reads like an Urza Saga card. Uh, aside from being a 4-4 four, four flyer over 4. If it was Urza Saga, it'd be a 2-2. Two, two. But uh, Red Red 2, 4-4 four, four Flying Dragon. When it ETBs, a land you don't control loses all abilities but mana abilities and gains... Beginning of your upkeep, take two or sacrifice it. We got Vortex and Stone Rain together on one dragon. This card's freaking awesome. Love it. Love this card. Super awesome new card. Yeah, a bunch of new cards here, honestly. We have the, the nerfed Gold Span Dragon. But in a deck like this, it doesn't matter as much because we're not playing as much like instant speed interaction. It's all right, we're going to negate their Doom Blade and then attack with our dragon. So the nerf isn't that bad. Still a really good card. Uh, we got an awesome card here in Toroth's Disciple. 3-3 three, three haste for 3. When it attacks, you conjure 4 cards named Lightning Bolt and shuffle them into your deck. That's freaking awesome. That's freaking awesome. I uh, also have Electrostatic Blast here. Probably one of the best cards in the set. Uh, 2 mana for a shock. But whenever you cast your next instant or sorcerer spell, at any point, it can be 4 turns down the road. Exile the top 3. You can play, 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 one, of those, play one of those on the turn, which is awesome. And... Uh, just adding in some Dragon's Fire, some Play with Fire, some Spike Field Hazards. Chandra just to kill seems awesome in this deck. Oh, also Conductive Current, an awesome Wrath variant that does 3 to everything and then allows you to augment your next burn spell by 2 damage, which is super, super cool. So, plays well with our 4-4s, obviously, and uh, just red cards just seem super sweet. And uh, we're going to battle. We're going to jump right in here and uh, play a couple matches in ranked, of course, with our big red deck, 5 new brews, brought to you by Call Us Apparel. Call Us Apparel dot shop promo code gym 10 10 off your order best magic apparel out there not even close you got the new liliana run the jewels shirt awesome mad comfortable christmas is coming up holidays are coming up great gift for all of your magic playing friends relatives parents children uh significant others dogs whatever you want they got stickers they got shirts commander stuff just tons and tons of designs if you're not going to buy anything, hop on over to callusapparel.shop. Check out the cool designs. Callusapparel.shop. Again, promo code GYM10. 10% off your order. Join the Anti-Mulligan Club today. There's a new Goblin version of that shirt, too. It's pretty awesome. So, callusapparel.shop. Check it out. So, I'll be casting the Hooglandy Open with Jeff uh, this coming... I don't remember the date. But it's coming up... I think it's next weekend. Next weekend. So... Big red time. We got Magda, Play of Fire, Chandra. Raise perfect. Perfect hand. One, two, three, four. Let's go. One, two, three, four. All the way. All the way. Bjorn resub. Jayhawk resub. Thanks so much. Death clap. Death cap glade. Alright, so we got Magda here. Possible turn three town razor. Dogs can't play magic. They consider it gambling. Fair. Fair. Apparently there are rules of dogs can't play magic. All right, so we got Magda, Electrostatic Blast. We kind of want to kill the Hedron, so we're just going to play Chandra plus make a mana. I might actually blast it with the mana from Chandra, and then we'll cast our next spell and draw a card too, so let's play land. Oh, I can't do that, actually, because I, I need the mana from uh, the Magda also. So yeah, we'll just Chandra plus play the Fire Kill this. Get our Stone Rain on. Take one. Play with fire. I'd love to. Magda. Make a treasure. Say go. We got dragon next turn we want. We got removal spells. Like, I think this card's really, really good. Uh, Electrostatic Blast. Just like close to a cantrip shock for two mana, which is pretty uh pretty awesome. Play land and say go. Okay. Um What does that mean? It means we're going to start by attacking and see what they do. Are they going to kill my Magda? They're going to Siphon Insight me. Uh, there are four Play of Fires and four uh, sh uh, Spike Field Hazards in my deck. So this might find an answer to my Magda, but we get to play Town Razor Tyrant, which is awesome. So they get a card. I can attack, though, which is cool. Make a treasure. All right, just cast our dragon, all right? Just do it. So the tyrant is here. I'm going to target their dual land. So now every upkeep, 
this dual land will shock them unless they sacrifice it. Which is pretty freaking cool. Ah. Uh -huh. 4-4 four, four Flyer with Sulfuric Vortex or Stone Rain. Either or. Key to the Archive. I do love it. It's a cool card. But uh, I think they're dead. I think they're dead. Played Key in our first deck. It's really cool. Freaking Tyrant. Running this shit just like a Tyrant. And they drafted a card. Don't know what it is. A lot of good cards in this one, though. A lot of good options. They discarded a land, sure. And uh, we'll just say go here. I'm sorry, not, they, say, they say go. Uh, and we've got... Uh, hmm. Do I want to plus Chandra and try and draw a spell? I think I do. I could also fire a bugbear, honestly, with uh, one of the treasures. That's a pretty big attack. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. I think that uh, flipping a top card is pretty high variance. We can just, like, take a, a good line here instead. We're just, like, in pretty good shape to kill them. So, attack. Get in for, what, 10? Yeah, they're just dead. They just have burn spells in our hand, too. I like it. I like it. The big red machine. So, some sort of uh, of rampy Sultai deck. Um, let's say you want to go a little leaner here. I would say you want to shave down some of your rule spells. Let's say Dragon's Fire, probably not necessary. And then we want to bring in something. We're going to bring the one drops in. And cut the currents. We bring in the uh, the wanted cutthroats also. I'll leave Moon Valen. Let's try this. We killed them too fast. I'm not exactly sure what they're doing, but... I think Retilt is pretty bad, honestly. I think it's fine as a sideboard card against, like, slower control decks. But I think it's pretty, uh, pretty rough. How's my chat not working in my, uh... Oh, there we go. They nerfed... I, I, thought, I was like, man, no one chatted in the last, like, ten minutes. It's so weird. It's so weird because no one likes me anymore. But, uh, it was just not working in my thing. So I missed all your chat in the last, like, few minutes. Sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm down with Alchemy. Uh, again, the economy is heinous. But cards look fun to me. Uh, sure. I just want to make some freaking lightning bolts. What's up, once? My Tron build has changed your life? Sweet. Life changing. Innkeeper. Uh, we're gonna... We have a third land here. I'm gonna kill the innkeeper. It's gonna, like... Gain them more life than I would by killing them. I don't know. I don't know. It's fine. I love it, but... Oh, what a draw. What a draw. I do agree adding Pioneer would solve a lot of the complaints about uh, Alchemy and Arena as well. Having two paper formats, one Eternal, one Standard, and then two online formats. So they've, they're playing the nerfed Asikas Chariot. So it only makes one cat and it crews for one. And now we can fire up our... Uh, our tore off disciple here if we want to. I think I actually want to. Yeah, I can't. I can't resist this. So, we're gonna attack and conjure four lightning bolts into our deck. Can't wait to your next vacation. Wizards is waiting to launch a new format. Good to have you back, my friend. What's up, Bado? Yeah, it is very, very. Uh... Okay, they can just do that, I guess. Too. I I screwed up. I like. Looked at the one cat, and I was like, oh, they can't crew chariot, because you need two cats to crew chariot. <laughs> no, they changed the card. They changed the card. Uh, sure. So now I have four bolts in my deck. That's cool. Uh, this is fine. Honestly, trading two for one with the chariot isn't that bad anyway, so whatever. At least I got my bolts. At least I got my bolts. Anything cool I would mod the sideboard with? What sideboard? Of this deck? I mean, I would just I just built it. Oh! <laughs> Bingo! We did it! Right to the top of the library! Alright, so we're going to... Uh, let me cast the next instant or source spell. Exile top of your library. Let me play those cards. So I can try and find a land here with this blast, actually. Let's target this. 
I should attack first, probably, but. Alright, so. The next time I cast an instant or sorcery, I get to look at the top three and play a card for free. I could just bolt them looking for a land here, but I think we're just gonna say go. Pretty interesting card, timing wise. Okay, that's a card. Uh, so they get to play a 6 6 and seek a land. Doesn't have reach or anything, though, so whatever. Hello, Jim. The only thing I am hesitant about alchemy is that I cannot get this card by drafting, so it makes playing arena a lot more expensive. Couldn't agree more, Stayer. Couldn't agree more. The, the arena economy is an abomination. It's an abomination. Uh, couldn't agree more. All right, so... We can, like, bolt here and look for a land. I was going to bolt and look for a land. So, bolt them. Look, I exile the top three. I can play one this turn. And we found a land, but it comes in tap. That freaking sucks. Ah, oh, what an awful, awful, uh, turn of events. Um, we're going to throw Magda away and just cast a, a Tyrant. Yeah. I think this card's pretty overrated, honestly. It, it was my trap card of my, my set review. I have full set reviews on uh, on uh, my YouTube for you uh, folks who haven't seen it yet. Going over all the cards of a set. Toss Magda. I haven't played Modern Tron in a little bit, so I don't have anything, anything really new to add. I'm going to play the land here and play the tire from my hand. So, play land. Play tire from my hand. And target the uh, the woodland, I guess. Whatever. They're at 13, we're at 20. We draw a land or spell next turn, so. There is no limit for alchemy. Acquiring these cards is hella expensive. Hella expensive. They're gonna play a Ren. That's really, really good. <laughs> Uh, all right. I think we're in trouble. That five-five reach is uh is not making life easy for us. I mean, attack them, they go to nine. Next turn, attack them, they go to five. We just say go. I think we're a big doo-doo. I think we're a big doo-doo. Don't really have a good answer for uh, for the old Rensky. I didn't know they were so, so creaturey, honestly. Maybe I should have... Uh, maybe I should have... Uh, Brought in that five damage spell. So maybe they'll attack, it'll just drop our spell and kill them. Geist of Regret. When it ETBs, put a random instant and a random sorcery into your graveyard. I'm not even playing any sorceries. Whenever you cast an instant sorcery card from your graveyard, copy that spell. I mean, it's a 4-5 flyer, which kind of matters here, so... I think we're just dead, but sure. Sean or just to kill? Yeah, I think we're just dead here. Um, I'm going to play this game bad. 1, 2, 3, 4. Chandra, 8. Puts them to 4. I guess... No, yeah. We're one short of being able to draw Bolt off Chandra and kill them. Lock one, take eight, make two red, play Chandra, pop a top card, we're one short, but hit a bolt. Yeah, 
that sucks. All right. Let's see. Oh, I can't, I can't even do math. Oh, no, yeah, I can. Yeah, we're one short, so... No, we're not. We're, we're two short. I can't even do math. Whatever. All right, game three, game three. Uh, That Ren really got us. That Ren really got us. That one to play, though, so... Do we want to... uh Bring in these Brittle Blasts? I kind of think we do. I'm going to shave the Moon Veil. And I might even shave a, a Goldspan Dragon, honestly. Because they have bigger answers. Bring in two Brittle Blasts. And try this one on the play now too, which is a pretty big deal, so. King Killer Resub, thanks so much. Alright, on the play. I mean it is a two lander. I can keep this. I can keep this. We have Magda on two. And he lands Chandra. What's up, Unicorn? Deck number two of five. Two of five. Alchemy. So, they have to kill Magda. If they don't, we can still draw it on Tabland. I'm going to get our dragon on. Forest, go, and we draw the land. Wow. Uh, okay. Man, we got options here. Jeez. I think we just play Tyrant. Which is too good not to play. Just turn, turn three Tyrant. That's just insane. Let's do it. Like, Tyrant, your uh, Veil, I guess. So now this land will... Oh, Tangle Trap. Tangle Trap. The value's still there, though. It's still a Sulfuric Vortex land. That's gross. Tangle Trap. Did not see that one coming. You got me. Good show. Power word, sure. Land. Chandra. We have... Three spike field hazards, four shocks, and four one drops that can hit off the Chandra here. I'm down. Uh, sure. Sure, whatever. So the same thing as plusing it, honestly. Still, still one of them. How do you get old board lands? So my friend, first time shatter. They were in the shop for a while. It's got the special thing. Electrostatic blast. Draw land here. We can draw land. Oh yeah. All right, so we're going to. Uh... Oh, plus Chandra. Sir John Curtis. Only getting one cat. We got a Tauros Disciple. Alright, I'm not gonna screw that one up again, I guess. So we'll just uh we'll just eat it. Play Goldspan. Attack. Get treasure. I'm gonna blast this bad boy. There's your nerf chariot. There it is. Only one cat. It's a better design, I think, honestly. Tangle Veil and Nuggy for two. And now you're at seven, facing down a trigger off my blast, a Chandra, and a Gold Span Dragon. And you're gonna play a Root Coil Creeper. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I have done no such thing, Jay Bro. No such thing. Alright, so attack Chandra. That that's it? That's all you're gonna do? Uh okay. So we're gonna um, uh, plus to land, sure. Who needs a plan? Just I mean, I almost want to play another Chandra here. I think we're just going to like just try and find the spell to win the game. This gonna set your world Top card is a wanted cutthroat. Whatever. Not great, but fine. Nerf Chariot, better than original Chariot, don't at me. Um, they have Ray of Enfeeblement targeting my Goldspan Dragon. Oh, okay. Sure. Attack for zero. Take two off the Veil. Yeah, the Chariot might be a little better, but much worse against removal spells, which is where it was annoying, so. Alright, so, crew Chariot, sure. 
Attack Chandra. I think we just block here. I think I'd rather have Chandra in play than this stupid cutthroat because this card's terrible, so. It's gonna block. Now we got Chandra plus as well as Goldspan Dragon going. Woo! Game. Blouses. Big red, 1-0, rocking and rolling. All right. Waiting on my opponent. Big red. The biggest of reds. Uh, no lands here. A lot of new cards. No lands here. I'm again. Sure. Keep this ship a land. Seen better. I've seen worse. What's up, Ron Slot? Top Street Light Song. It's funny, actually. John asked me that last night. John asked me what, what, what my favorite uh, favorite Streetlight Manifesto song is. I told him, honestly, all of them. They're such, a, such a, an even, consistent band that their albums are just so good front to back that there's no, like, no standouts and no 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 dips either. All right, I put this tapped. There you go. If I had to pick one, maybe track five on uh, the first album. I don't recall its name. That's sort of symbology. Okay. This is like the black-white, like, snowy deck, probably, like, snow control. Necrotic Fumes. Sure. Let's say go. I guess we'll play with Fire of the Professor. Uh, sure. I should not have let them untap. That was stupid. You know, like, all right, they didn't have village rights. I should have killed it on my turn because they have village rights. You draw. All right. I mean, we're a little chunky here. Can I just chuck a play of fire upstairs? Try and find a fourth land. Average stream schedule. Waka, waka. There's no schedule. <laughs> there's no schedule. There'll be a schedule maybe at some point, but there's no schedule now. It's for damn sure. This is brew number two of five. Upstairs. I'm sorry you're late. I'm just happy you're here. Current goes to the bottom. Draw a land here, please. I could kill Edgar. Uh, maybe I want to kill Edgar, honestly. But then they can just, like, sack a token to the fumes. Yeah, I'm still trying to draw a land here. Lando? No. Oh my god, you're killing me. You're killing me! Somebody's playing a prank on me! Alright. New chaotic schedule? Yeah. With the holidays coming up too, we're dead. Get back from vacation. Oh man. This card's good against my freaking dragons. It's damage to... Creature or Planeswalker. I think we're dead, folks. We're dead. We bought him the, uh, the Wrath, too. With terror. Oh, I will call the weak. All right. Uh, there is an arena base that card one of the brews, yes. That's funny because we don't actually want to shovel bolting because we, we need to draw lands. So I think we're just going to game to game two here, unfortunately. Pretty bad draw. Uh, pretty bad draw. The first dragon I played dies to the Edgar any, or the uh, the fumes anyway. Um, we'll keep one, I guess. Whatever, sure. Shovels and bolts in. Just going to let it hit them. They don't even care. They don't even care. Less lands, more bolts. Yeah, we're super dead. So what's what do we do? We draw a bolt and concede. That's fun. Drawing lightning bolt's pretty fun.
Isn't Toroth the same as a 64 card deck? That's bad. Um, no. Because Lightning Bolt is not a card that you have the option to put into your deck in deck building. It is better than almost all the cards in your deck. So the main reason you don't play more than 60 cards... It, <laughs> the main reason you, you don't uh, play more than 60 cards in your deck is so you don't, don't draw your... You draw, you draw better cards. Cards, shut up, man! Uh, let's go to game two here. Uh, so we have like a black-white sort of control deck. This is going to be a little tough, honestly. We're going to bring in... Uh, cut the currents. Cut the... Hold on one second, folks. Car wants everyone to know that there was a uh, an Amazon package delivered, and it's extremely dangerous. All right, um, God, shut up, man. All right, you got the dragon fires. Bring in the vortexes, the creatures, the brittle blasts. Play with fire is also pretty bad. Sure, let's try this, I guess. I don't like. Hate the currents. Pit fighter is pretty bad though, because they have all the crappy like eye or whatever. So, excuse me. Deck thickening. Yes, deck thickening. I, I like that. That's a good. That's a good term. Deck thickening. Thicken that deck up. All right. Uh, keep. Ratilda Magda Disciple. Duress. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Oh yeah, turn three uh, tyrant. Five new bridge on YouTube. Of course they are. Everything goes on YouTube. All right, so Magda plays pretty bad against uh, both these crappy creatures, but I don't care. Just gonna cast Tyrant on turn three, so. The block with Eye Twitch, probably. No, Shambling Gas, whatever, sure. Running the ship just like a Tyrant. Karn is really upset. He is really, really upset. Take two. Burnerating the peasant. They're gonna sack the land? <laughs> wow! 4-4 four, four flying avalanche riders. Holy moly. I'll take that one every single day of my life. Uh, attack for four. I twitch, sure. Can I get scientists to replace that land? This card's unreal. I don't know why this card couldn't be, like, in paper, too, honestly. Like, you know. All right, so uh, we're going to Chandra plus two drop here. There's no way Stagger Land was correct. I totally agree. Uh, we're going to play probably Magda. Flickering Tyrant? That is, that, is a, a, that is a cool idea. That is a cool idea. Sciences. I mean, why is my opponent still playing this game? <laughs> like, <sighs> all right, sure. We draw Roiling Vortex. Um, let's just freaking Disciple here. Shovel some bolts in. Let's shovel some damn bolts into our deck, and then Shotter can go find them. They're at 12. They had a red. Cast Vortex. Close game. Close game. <laughs> you 
Gonna wrath me. I have vortex. All right, that's pretty good. Doesn't kill the, uh, the tyrant though. And the bolts are already in my deck. Do I want to uh, sack a treasure here and make them not gain life? I think I do actually. Pay one red, shock them essentially. It's fine. Red ya, dead ya. The land continues to burn. That was better. That was a better game than the first game. I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. Game three. Both teams played hard. Both teams play hard. Uh, there is no teleportation circle deck in the docket, unfortunately. Uh, almost made it to a deck or two, but there are some cool decks, though. We have a, a green-white Scarecrow life gain deck. We've got uh, a mono-black, like, aristocratty deck. And we've got, uh, what's the last deck? I don't remember. What's the last deck? On the images. Last deck was, oh, oh the, the equipment deck, the utility belt deck. All right, keep this hand. Hand's nice. Hand's nice. Perpetually stays in play for the remainder of the game. So, the best way I think Perpetual is literally a Sharpie. You were to take a Sharpie and write on the card and just change it. And it's not, the Sharpie will not erase till the end of the, till the next game. It's a really cool mechanic. I freaking love the mechanic. All right, play land. We're going to have a Tilda here. It's probably going to die, but whatever. Could have played Vortex, but... You know, Vanishing Burst me? Sure. Better verse here than on Chandra or Goldsman Dragon, so... Or on the Void Vortex, so... I Twitch. Land. Alright. Um... I can Chandra here. Managing verse is pretty good against pretty good against us. Pretty sure. Good card. Good card against us. No no second verse. Love it. Love it. Their deck just looks like the black white deck that I played in a video like two months ago. And it's important to note that just like not every player can afford to buy new cards. You know, you just they're just playing whatever they have, they're free to play, so they're gonna fell singer, draw some cards, it's fine. Uh, we have a Blast to kill it. We've got Chandra. We've got Vortex. We can Goldspan Dragon next turn. It's pretty sweet. Sciences, sure. Plan, sure. A Duress here would be annoying. Shambling Gas, sure. Town Razor Tyrant. That's so good. Right. Add a red. Nug ya. Goldspan. Nug ya. Again, electrostatic blast. We're gonna blast the fell stinger right now, so they can't village rights it and fizzle my spells. So we're gonna blast this. Now the next spell that I cast at any point in the future, I get to look at the top three and play one for free, which is awesome. Our next instant sorcery spell. Super cool. I'm gonna kill my gold span dragon. That's okay. No treasure. Very sad. Very sad. Nerf skis. Poke Chandra. Cast Sciences. We got the Tyrant lined up. We got Vortex lined up. We got Smashing lined up. Another Vortex, too. Alright, sure. So it's a uh, red. Target Sinkhole. Pay three, Vortex. Say go. First impression, nerf gold span still worth playing. It is much worse in blue decks. Um, you know, the ability to play gold span, they can't doom blade it because you'll just negate it. Like they doom blade it, you negate it, attack, have a counter spell and say go. That that part of the card is obviously not there anymore. So it's much worse in blue decks. 
It's still a fine top end threat though. Um, it's much more fair card, but still very playable, I think. They're gonna swing and attack Chandra for one. This feels a little like blood on the snowy, maybe. Um, they want to get that mana. Hmm. I think deals three, right? Is the reason why I would not want to block as far as this thing dying. Just comes down to like, do I want them to get this treasure or not? I think it's fine for the block. Oh, I got a meat hook. I'm so bad. I guess I didn't have it either way. That's fine, though, I think. We each have Vortexes and Bugbears and Chandra and stuff, too, so... Sure. All right, that, that was my... Either way, they could have... I guess they couldn't have meat hooked if they didn't have a land. Eh, maybe that's bad. I'm not sure. Duress, also. All right, sure. Whatever. I got everything I need to win the game already. I got Vortex, Chandra, I got lands. Um, Let's look at our top card. Hello. Bingo. All right. This land already has the ability. Now this one's got it. Well, I did, this card is just unreal. Like this card is ridiculous. Like they're gonna nerf this card. I think. Like they hate they hate LD so much. You know, like as far as like design philosophy goes. I do love the idea of making LD that's like not LD LD. Like for example, if there was like a two two for two and it came into play. And like tap the land, and that land wouldn't untap till your next end step. You know, something like that. That'd be really cool, I think. Um, or it's not permanent, but at least that's a little bit of tempo here and there. Envy the straw. Make some spiders, whatever. Untap, take one. Another vortex. Let's look at our top card again. Another Chandra. Come on, Chandra. Think I gotta kill the the Lala, I guess, with the Chandra. Hmm. <laughs> sure. Make my life easier on me. 2-0. and 2-0. Oh. Oh. Well, I remind you all, I have an article on CoolStuffInc.com going over uh, alchemy and it, as its entirety. The good, the bad, and the ugly on alchemy. A lot of really cool things. Some, some not cool things also about it. Check it out, CoolStuffInc.com. As always, I do a Friday article on Cool Stuff as well as a Monday video. CoolStuffInc.com. Free content every single weekday. No paywall. And me, of course. I haven't fun so far with Alchemy, I'm not going to lie. I haven't, haven't, haven't fun. Having a good time. Also, my full set review is up on YouTube as well. Check that out. Full set review for Alchemy. I go over every single card on the YouTubes. All right. Uh, Mulligan. No Omnath for me. No Omnath for me. All right, keep this. We're going to put so many freaking lightning bolts into our deck. We're going to put so many freaking lightning bolts into our deck. Let's hear it. Noise, so many lightning bolts into our deck. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's gonna be awesome. All right, Boros lands. There you go. Sure. Tyrant, love it. Magda, love it. Slaps hood. You can fit so many lightning bolts in this bad boy. Hell yeah. Goodbye, Magda. Ooh, sort of dragon deck here. The nerfs to Omnath are significant. All right, we're going to try and do it. If they have a, a way to kill it, whatever. No! Oh, yeah, we get it. Never mind. Cancel it. Get those bolts in my deck. So many bolts in my deck. Oh, yeah, let's go. White. Tyrant. Yeah, whatever. Uh, oh, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jim. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I hit the space bar. Just trying to like move past it. I was like, oh yeah, whatever, sure. And uh, apparently the space bar defaults to sacrificing the land. So uh, thanks for that one, Wishes of a Coast. Good, good, uh, good interface. Good interface. Um, yeah, what's well, fine. We're going to power through. Our next full of lightning bolts, so no big deal. No big deal. <laughs> I'll, I'm fine trading two for one here with Disciple and adding more, adding four more, four more, four more bolts to my deck. So we'll just back here. Now we got eight bolts in our deck. So many bolts. Kill this. 
Imagine if our entire deck was Lightning Bolts. Imagine. Uh, Diablo 2. I'm playing Diablo 2 with my friends. Send it to my old friends from high school. We're reliving our glory days. We play every Friday night. I mean, I'm going to be late at this rate, honestly, but they're going to play Paladin, whatever. Now the question is, do I want to play Tyrant? Or do I want to just fire up the uh, the Disciple? I think I want a Tyrant. Tyrant the Den of Bugbear. Gonna pay some life. I'll drop Bolt next turn. We do have eight of them in our deck. So, huh. Can I even, like, will I see? That's funny. Untap won't show you the bolts that are in your deck. That's pretty funny, because it's like, it's like a new thing. It's pretty funny. Their own Tyrant? Sure. Uh, I'm going to decline. Thank you. Right? Do I want the decline? Yeah, I want the decline. Smashing. I think I want the decline. Um, yeah, we're going to kill this too, so yeah, this is fine. So we'll attack here. And then, uh, sure, it's fine. I'm gonna bolt in the the thing and just kill the uh, thing. So we each have lands under the spell of the dragon. I have disciple in my hand, so I have more bolts coming. Why are you bolting us? Isn't it better to bolt them? Well, we have eight in our deck, so Moonveil. God, I believe a freaking four four. So it's basically just gold span dragon. As far as like I'm gonna I'm gonna sacrifice the land, I think. I've had enough. Chandra. That's also bad. I can't even use it. Alright. Need some bolts, please. Obviously when your deck is full of lightning bolts and they have a bunch of four fours, you know, it's tough, but. All right, Moonvale, sure. We're playing Boros Dragons, yep. We draw a Spike Field Hazard. That, like, kind of plays, honestly. I don't mind trading two for one here. Let's, uh, let's attack. Add four more bolts to our deck. This is the Liliana Coalesce Run the Jewel shirt. Coalesce Brawl that shop. I'm gonna kill my, my, my poor disciple here. No. Now there are 12 bolts in my deck. 12 bolts in my deck. Okay, I wish it would show it in this thing. Block. The anti-mill card? That's pretty funny. Alright, uh, kill this. 12 bolts! Ha! 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 What's this card? I didn't read it. Look at card, whatever, sure. Bucket of bolts. They still have the uh, the vortex on their land too, so didn't sack this end step. They definitely have goldspan dragon. That sucks. All right, that's a problem. That's a pretty serious problem. I'm not gonna lie. No after party. I'm wiped out. Okay. Imagine having 12 lightning bolts in your deck. Freaking 12. Yeah, we need some more cyborg cards here. We need some of our bigger damage spells. Oh, no. All right, so that, that is not actually that bad. Where are the bolts? All right, so 15 to eight. Now 11 to eight. I don't actually want to drop bolt right now, so. Post combat gold span dragon? Ay ay ay. Oh, there it is. Alright. Um we need answers to large creatures. That's what we need. We're gonna bring in our our brittle blasts. Got these currents. And I think that's it, honestly. Maybe we want to, like, cut the play of fires and bring in the, uh, the pit fighters in the play. I think we do, actually. I 
Do I want the wanted cutthroats also? I don't think so. Flame Slash. Yeah, I know, right? Not sold on Disciple. I mean, obviously when your opponent's playing all four fours, your Lightning Bolts are not going to be as good as they would be, you know? But... Cut current every game. That's obviously we didn't play against any creature decks, you know, like, but against a a mid rangey control deck and then a, a four four dragon deck. All right. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Can fire up the old Blaskies. We got the we got Bolt Bolt Maker here. Ah, the Crossroads. We have this card in a few of our decks. This is the land that where if you're uh, if you're on the draw, it can come and untapped if you want it to. It's pretty cute. They decided to play a tapped and scry though. So it's either a tap scry land, or if you're on the draw, it's an untapped land. Do I want to blast them? I don't think so. Maybe I do. Yeah, whatever, sure. Not blind Disciple here, they obviously have our removal spells, plus play Chandra and plus. Go ahead. Fight me as hard as you can. Cause I'm real stuck. Say go. What's up, Spudwinkle? Good vibes, my friend. Good vibes. I guess I could. Dragon's Fire, the Chandra, sure. That is also applicable. Tap land, Fearsome Whelp. Can we draw land here, please? We cannot. Um, We gotta kill this bad boy, obviously. Which means I can't Disciple. Uh, it was like a bad matchup. Like, just like the, just the mid-rangey, slightly bigger Dragon deck is always so good against the aggro deck. I guess we're kind of, we're kind of bigger too, but... All right. Uh, all right. This kind of sucks, but sure. I I forgot this thing. I totally forgot I had the uh, the effect from the light the blast. That's insane. So now I can play land and play disciple. That's insane. I love it. I love it. And then I have dragon fire to kill the uh, the moon veil. Add those bolts to my deck, please. For totally forgot. Totally forgot. This card's so frick. This card is insane. Like, insanely good. Uh, insanely good. They just cast a... Wait, what? Oh, being of your end step. Oh. Yeah, that's sick. All right, um, we got to kill that, of course. We, yeah, it's pretty good. Flying lifelink haste, sure. Add some more bolts to my deck. So this also costs less to cast, but like it's not gonna show us that for some reason, even though we know that the trigger went off on this thing. It's weird. Yeah, that's weird. All right, sure. Oh, it shows it, but it's not purple. That's really weird, sure. Sure, sure, sure. All right, they got a moon veil. A little hard for me to attack, but I have my own moon veil, so. Like to draw a way to kill it. That is uh, close to a way to kill it, but not quite. Let's play moon veil. They'll probably kill it, but whatever. Why is it all weird and glowy? Sure. If Frenzy was still around, that'd be awesome. Disciple plus Frenzy, that's really, that'd be really cool. Dragon's Fire. 
Yeah, I guess we'll mug you. Treasure from Magda. That would require me to attack with it and throw my creatures away, which I don't want to do, so. There's your gold span dragon. Tilt. And now if I kill this, I can kill Magda anyway. Mm, it's not good. It's not good. Not too good. If I draw a land, or, or we could draw a lightning bolt, um, now I can attack with both. They block the disciple. I bolt Goldspan Dragon, and then Shatter Spell each of them for one. That plays. That plays. More bolts in my deck, please. Yo, bro, I heard you like lightning bolts. Is there a trick here? Oh, there's anything, anything, mana, sure. Whatever, sure. They're gonna moon veil in response? Sure. Discard a card, draw a card. What's up, Hellscare? First time chatter. Everything's dead. Everything. They have a creature land, and I don't. Uh, we're both at 12, and they're up two cards on me. Probably not in a good spot here. Another creature land. Also not good. <laughs> All right, I guess. Will they fire up the, uh, the dragon or the bugbear? In the face of infinite lightning bolts. We got, oh, come on! Goldspan off the top. We draw bolt, they draw goldspan. pretty funny it's pretty funny uh yeah maybe maybe adding bolts does make your deck worse i don't, I don't know i mean like the way, the way your deck is built it's a little more big um <laughs> i guess we're gonna kill this gold spin dragon and just not win the game we, we did we did have the problem is like matchup wise this just like isn't a good matchup for us because all their all their important cards have four toughness so we, we had to two for one ourselves like three or four times as match to kill a creature, which sucks, obviously. So, um... Yeah, we're good. But that's okay. We didn't draw, draw Bolt, though. Putting 12 Lightning Bolts in our deck. We were so concerned about if we could do the thing, we didn't think about if we should do the thing. I'm not done drawing something. I'm back to Disney now. I'm going home for a day or two. All right. Don't think there's any outs here because we're gonna die to the uh, Frost Dragon. Yo, bro. I don't care if we lost this game. I cast four lightning bolts, all right? I'm freaking happy about it. I'm freaking happy about it. I'm having a great time. I'm having a great time. All right, we're, we're one and one. Um, I think I'm going to do two matches for each one of these brews, honestly. I think three is too much. I think three is too much. Um, we're, already, we're almost an hour into this brew as well. So we're going to do, 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 do two matches per brew. Two matches per brew. But, um... I mean, so Toroff, maybe Toroff isn't even that good, honestly. But it, it's definitely a cool card. Uh, the rest of the cards in the deck are pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, like maybe if you're like playing Toroff, you want to have more cards like uh, uh, Reckless Impulse or like Card Draw and stuff like that. Oh, that was, that was, that was three matches? Oh, shit. Okay, we're good then. 3-1. 2-1. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing. But um, yeah, I mean, this card's busted. And this card might not be busted, but it's really, really cool. That's deck number two. Deck number three is coming up here on Five New Brews for MDG Alchemy. YouTube folks, love you. Like, comment, subscribe. God damn it, Crunchy Squats.